bundled up early morning only light from my car light so that means it is a flea market day welcome to paper and moose welcome to this flea market adventure does the early bird get the worm the treasure or do we still have to wait till the sun comes up we shall find out so i have my flashlight my money my gopro to film and we can see what treasure we can find at the flea market today hopefully it is a good one These are actually pretty cute. I like them. We're gonna grab those. baby one that walks. I have him. He's pretty cute. Oh, what's this? Oh, she's nice. I'll grab her. I love Teddy Ruxpin. He was so cute. You know what? I know. You just gotta be patient and dig. She's bigger. We'll grab that. Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's this guy. Native Americans. Wilton? Is that for a cake topper? That's funny. What's this one? We're gonna grab them. They're neat. That's cute. Alright, I think I'm going to turn the camera off and get down and get serious about picking. Well, that was a good start to the morning. I forgot. Here's my mask. Um, yeah, that guy always has really interesting things. He's doing a clean out and he's up in the attic. He said that there's still a whole bunch of stuff he hasn't gone through yet. So hopefully next week he will have even more treasure. So let's see what else we can find. How much are your photos? There's a, a dollar each. What would you do on the whole box? Um, I don't want to do the whole box. Okay. On. If you take a bunch, I'll do okay. less. Okay. And then how much is the pin? I'm going to put my glasses on. <laughs> I can't see. It's just a little E. Um, I do two bucks. On okay. Let me dig through this and see. Okay. Oh. See him? He's down there. Everyone's at it. He has it made. He doesn't have to unload because everyone does it for him. And he probably empties out a, a decent amount of totes by the end of his shift. Last week I did pretty well. We'll see how this week does. Oh, 
Oh, she's so cute. So is she. Oh, was that? Oh, oh, what's in here? What's in here? Oh. That's actually a pretty bowl. I'll put my treasures in there. Let's see, Let's see what they look like. That's actually a nice magnifying glass. They belonged in here. Dennis and place cards that did. It's just in this box. <gasps> oh man. My lucky day. Look how cute. Oh, a photo. This is like the best box ever. <laughs> Let's just take that. I don't know what's in, but. School photo, school grand. This would make a great shadow box. That's really cool. We'll have to ask her. Uh-oh, look at those clothing fasteners. <laughs> That's a cute Santa. chili flea market morning but i found some really nice items at really nice prices and it it was just a good morning so recap from the early morning when it was still dark out we have this little lady um her hair is kind of bad but her face is rather pretty so she will be great for halloween not even Halloween. She just has a really nice look to her. Even with her, her hair issues. I bought her. I also purchased the bag of clothes. Now, I think some are Barbie. There seems to be a mixture. This one was pretty neat. It's a USA outfit. Perhaps for like the Olympics. I don't know if that's Barbie or not. But... Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cute. It's Disney. Good night. <laughs> oh, I love it. And these have the hangers, which actually can sell for a decent amount. Yeah, there's a whole mixture of things in here. Oh, a little fish with a hat on. That's cute. So I got that. Then I also found, we thought it was checks, but it's not. It are, it, it are, they are vintage ashtrays or state souvenir ashtrays. So there are three of them in here. I think Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and California. Too bad there wasn't New Jersey. This almost makes me want to go back out and dig through that guy's stuff again. Perhaps I will. I did buy one photo from the woman. It's of this like kind of creepy man. I'll get yelled at for saying creepy, but he has just a, a very haunting look to him. But I liked it, so I bought it. And that's from Philadelphia. Since the fire, 
Applegate's new rooms open at 106 North English Street in Philly. And we have to do some research. The woman, I had asked how much for the whole box of photos and she said she does not want to sell by the box. I've bought from her before. I'm glad I actually looked through the box because I did not find many that I actually really liked. But anyway, so what else did I buy from that man? The first guy. I think that might have been it. And then the tote man pulled through again. I actually had pretty much all of my hits in one box. And the box, people must have looked through the box. So let's see, what did we have? I have the Eberhard Faber pencil case. I don't know if I, I might be able to get the Edna off. I should be able to. And then we have some nice colored pencils inside, which are the Eberhard Faber as well. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I got the Halloween linen, some iron-on decals. This is the East Stroudsburg 1941 class. Would love to figure out a way to reuse all our little photos. I picked up the bowl. Now, it does have some chips and cracks, but I think it's fairly pretty. And I could probably sell it for a few dollars to get some of my money back. Now, my favorite things, while well, we have the great magnifying glass, I see how big my eye is, that's really nice. It does have some chips and cracks, but still a great piece. Then we have Denison's Place Cards Assorted Animal Designs. How cute are these? Oh, his little bag says chestnuts on it. That'd be cute on a shirt. <laughs> these are adorable. So I bought those, and then it, there was the whole box of the candle place cards. These perhaps were for Easter with the daffodils. Those were cute. And then the, the little ladies. There's one Victorian die cut, which is rather I wish there had been a whole box of them. I'm going to have that one. Then we have, I'm going to say it's a frozen Charlotte. I know that they're different, but this little woman being in Japan. And then also this little lady whom I loved. I thought she was so adorable with her little, it looks like maybe she's holding, oh, she's holding like a little pot. She's rather cute and she's marked Germany on the back. So, loved all the stuff I bought from him, all for a whopping $10. You can't beat it. And then some of my other finds, which was another $10 worth. Oh, let's see if I can get it out. This whole scrapbook album filled with cards. We have Christmas cards. There's a mixture, it looks, of new and older ones. I think it's a lot of Christmas. I don't see any Halloween or Easter, but I mean, $10. You can't, you can't go wrong at all. And then I also bought another little baggie of assorted ephemera. So I think there are some calling cards in here. I think it's mostly calling cards. Victorian calling, calling cards. Oh, there are some. I don't know if there's any postcards or not. What's this piece? It's this lady. So, that was another good deal. But yes, a fairly good morning. And I don't know. I'm feeling I have the gumption to go back out and maybe just do a little bit more digging. Why not? It's still early. I still have time to get tea and get work done. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I might find other things. I might not. But I have the feeling I should perhaps just get out and do a little bit more digging. So that's what I'm going to do. If you were at your flea market today, I hope that you found some treasure. Upcoming for the channel, I will have a mail video. That will be tomorrow's video. And then I'm hopefully hoping to finish up my history behind the paper video as well. 
and that will probably be the day after the mail day video or the next day we shall see so thank you for watching hope you had a great day if you are off on the hunt for your own treasures i hope that you find them thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.